Hello everyone, today we have new video review with new kit from Miniart, as you can see it's another version of their T44. But as usual, let me invite you to check another video review with the original T44, which you can find here on our YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to visit our website here, where you will be able to read a full review of this kit in text, or in English and Russian, and of course with detailed photos. As for today's kit, as I said before, this is another version of the T44 which was released before its interior kit. Here it's written that there are 780 plastic parts, 11 clear plastic parts, 62 photo etched parts and of course all hatches are openable on this tank. Here you can see comparison with my hand size, so it's approximately the same size of the box as on the previous kit. We have this nice box art on the front. Then we have some short information about the kit, that it's not suitable for models under 14 years old. And here we have renders of the assembled kit, as you can see it looks quite nice. And here you can note that some P parts will have to be applied on the external surfaces. This is a top opening box. Uh, fit is quite tight, so just give me a second to open it. Actually, it's a traditional feature for Miniard. And it's not bad, but I mean, you get used to it. <laughs> All parts are packed into one plastic bag, as you can see here. That's also a typical Miniard feature, and I'm not that fond of it because mm, you can get the broken parts easily, and of course, it might endanger some tiny elements as well. Uh, let's start from the assembly manual because it lies on the bottom and it's easier to reach. Uh, here we have short list of the main features for this kit. So as you can see even a V54 engine is included into this kit so you can replicate it in full scale. Uh, then we have parts map. As you can see there are a lot of parts. Note that paints chart is given in Amomic colors. Next we have assembly process explained with these nice images. They're quite understandable and when I was assembling Su-122 I didn't have any problem with uh, let's say understanding of what I have to do and where to install this or that part. Here we have several marking options 1, 2 and 3, 4. So as you can see choice is quite wide and of course nobody forbids you from choosing some what if option or maybe some alternative marking for your model. Now just give me a second to open the plastic bag and we will check plastic parts. Okay, we start from small parts, uh, small elements which lie on the top and those are P parts and also transparent sprues. Uh, here you can see P parts of course these are unpainted and they will replicate different elements on the tank. As you can see uh, P thread itself is quite thin and they should be easy to work with. As you can see mine is slightly bent but I think it won't be a great problem to uh, straighten these parts and get a nice finish. Then we have uh, transparent sprues. They are packed together in uh, the same bag with decals sheet and I will show you decals first. With decals I can say that there were no problems at least in SU-122 so I think the same will be here as you can see printing quality is good enough for out of the box build so no worries. Uh, next we have transparent spruce as I said they are absolutely identical so I will show you only one. Molding quality here is very nice all parts look clear and crisp so they will require just careful masking and painting and then you are done. Next we have separate plastic bag inside plastic bag, oops, sorry, for shaking camera, but here it is. As you can see it's quite big and it contains typical for mini art mix of different parts. As you can see it's slightly torn off on the side, nothing let's say serious, but Still, better to be careful and check parts before purchase. Okay, so I will pick up uh, different types of the screw so that we can check them closer. 
because as usual for this manufacturer we have here similar screws so it's worth showing on the one so you understand what is hidden inside actually some modellers complain on such parts division because um, I mean I can agree because it's sometimes difficult to find one small screw with one part and you should also track which on which frames you already used parts and on which they are uh, still present what is also not that easy okay as you can see I'm still picking up different sprues there are a lot of them some of them are absolutely identical some of them are completely different so I just need to pick up all necessary frames and then we can check them closer. Actually those white sprues they carry absolutely different parts so we might check them all together. Here they are. And those are suspension parts and tracks. So we'll pick up only one sprue. And of course this white plastic bag we will check it a bit closer a bit later because now we need a bit more space. Okay. Let's start from the sprues which I put on the top. Here we have track parts. Of course, um, as usual for mini art kit, we will have separate track links, which might be assembled in workable tracks. But as I saw in my previous experience with Su122, it might be a bit difficult task. So get ready to glue them with thin glue. And just give me a second, I will check them closer. Yes, you might need a glue, but nevertheless there is a nice detailing because uh, you have casting marks on each link. Here you can see them, I hope. They are very tiny, but still such attention to detailing is very nice and quite impressive in this scale. Because you don't usually see such uh, small features on plastic kits. Next we have slightly bigger plastic sprue. Here we have external panels. These are molded as single piece parts and they should be put in, into the tank as far as I can guess. Here we have some minor elements for the internal detailing. Everything is molded nicely but you have to be careful while separating those parts because as you know it is easy to break them. Here is another plastic sprue, we have seven different hatches, even machine gun here, which look quite nice. Next plastic sprue is dedicated to various stowage bins. These are, should be also placed into uh, inside the tank. And here we have different hatches. I guess this will be installed on the external uh, panels. Next we have some parts for in, again interior stowage and exterior stowage. Here you can see them. And this sprue it features parts for the engine and I can say that the engine should be quite detailed especially for out of the box version. Here we have main barrel house yes main barrel will be assembled out of two house so be ready to work on the seams and on the possible gaps and here you can see quite thin part which might require extra attention because otherwise it is easy to break it and then so I mean you will have to solve this problem somehow here we have more of the internal detailing parts various pipings and tubes uh, next we have special one piece ring for the commander place as you can see it has special empty spots for the visors next we have another plastic sprue with internal elements here we have drive sprocket halves. Those are molded nicely, but no attachment points. Those might be tricky to separate because they are placed between teeth 
and you have to be careful in order not to damage teeth. Uh, here we have fenders, front and rear ones, those are molded as one piece parts and I can say that this design is quite nice because you won't have to uh, waste your time with alignment and any other possible problems. Here we have some minor elements. I will zoom a camera for you. Next we have another plastic sprue with internal and external elements. Road wheels should be assembled out of two parts. Here you can see them. I mean, out of two halves and then you have to add some minor elements as well. But they look quite nice. As you can see they are fixed on three attachment points, which is not that bad. And here we have tensioners and some pioneer tools for the external detailing. Again, the same molding quality and I think with careful painting these tools should look nice. Next we have large plastic sprues. And here we have additional plastic sprue for the engine parts. Because this one is unified for all recent interior kits from Miniart and as you can see uh, we have here different engine elements which might be used on the V54. It looks quite nice and from my experience I can say that it's quite easy to assemble engine as long as you pay attention to the assembly manual of course. And here we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to Pioneer tools, some internal equipment. And I can say the same what I said with Su-122. I want I mean, I would prefer to see uh, the same parts from the same area on the same sprue because now we see completely different parts which are in, uh, designed for different areas of the model on the same plastic sprue. So you have to search through the every frame in order to find some sprue. And here we have last plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to large hull panels. Of course, lower hull panel is molded as one piece part. But you will have to add side panels, top panels, and some suspension elements, of course. But as you can see, molding quality is still on the same level, so there are no major problems, no flash, and no possible damage uh, which can occur during molding process. So that's all for this video review. As you can see, this kit is on the same level as previous T44 and if you prefer this particular modification now you can buy it in any good model store and as usual I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit just comment in the comment section below and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share it with your friends and follow our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video review or video report. Bye!